when Pot said he was going to take us back through the countryside, he was not kidding. Today is day two for us in Siem Reap. We are taking a break from temples today and we are headed to one of the floating villages outside of town. We'd considered renting a motorbike while we were here, but we had heard mixed reviews on whether or not it was actually legal. And we liked our tuk-tuk driver so much yesterday that we decided to rehire him for today to take us out to the floating village. And we're off. So we just passed a bunch of stands on the side of the road that looked like they were roasting something inside of bamboo. So we just stopped at one of them to check it out. What do you like? Yeah, okay, thank you. Peel it back. Mmm, it smells sweet. So this is called bamboo rice? Yeah, yeah, bamboo, bamboo rice. rice. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Mm. It's a lot like sticky rice. Not quite as sweet. And then there's some kind of bean in it maybe? Yeah, black beans. Black beans. So they put it inside the bamboo. Yeah. And then they cook it on the fire. Pot just showed us that you can make it like a spoon. <laughs> now we got it. I'm a regular bamboo rice pro now. Good morning. Yes, please. Just stopped right outside of town to buy our boat tickets, which were $20 a piece. Wow. So Pat just told us that during rainy season, the street is completely underwater. Wow. That is too cool. Pot just stopped us on the side of the road. We're gonna walk in and check out what they're doing. Watch out for the bones. The bones? Yeah, clear fish. Real fish? Yeah. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> We've just come about 50 kilometers to Kampong Kliang. There are actually a few different floating villages within a day trip from Siem Reap, but from what I read online, a couple of them are pretty touristy at this point. This one's supposed to be the least touristy, and based on our drive-in, I'm thinking that's going to be the case, so I'm really excited. We left the village of Kampong Kleong, which during the dry season like this isn't actually a floating village, but it was really cool to see the houses up on 10 meter stilts. And now we're out on Tunle Sap Lake and there are a couple of floating villages out here on the lake that we're going to get to see. We have made it back, so Pot told us that during the rainy season a lot more of the floating homes grouped together. So honestly it wasn't quite as big as I was expecting it to be, but it was still really cool to see and get a glimpse into such a unique way of life. And now we are back in Kampong Kliang and we're going to walk around the village a little bit. Pot gave me an umbrella to protect me from the sun.
Scott saw a lady cooking corn on the side of the road, so we stopped and picked some up. It's good stuff. Delicious. Oh, shoot. That was so close. Oh my gosh. These little boys are fishing. Yeah. You got one! We are headed back, and this time on a different road, and I am liking it. When Pot said he was going to take us back through the countryside, he was not kidding. This road feels a bit different. Just driving against traffic. We had such a great day. Boat ride to the floating village aside, the countryside around Siam Reap is amazing. I would honestly not say that the boat ride alone was worth the $40 that we paid, but that also included the fee to get into the Kampong Kliang area, and that is really impressive and definitely worth seeing. But my favorite part of the day was just riding through all the small towns and villages, seeing all the people. My cheeks are sore from smiling so much, waving at everyone, going by. They were so friendly and had the best smiles. 10 for 10 for today.